and welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Part, Planet of Death. I have to make an apology. I would like to apologize to the developers of this game, to the game itself and to all the fans, because I insulted it. In my very first video I claimed that the story of this game would be stupid, I quote myself. Now you may be wondering what on earth am I talking about? Well, to be honest, the story as exposed in the introductory cutscene is quite stupid. Now you may be even more um, confused. Or maybe not, because you also grew up in the 90s and learned that most of a game's story used to be not exposed in the video game back then, but mostly in the manual or even by some other means. And in fact, Ubisoft went to insane lengths to provide an interesting and motivating story for this game, which is, by the way, not the same as it was exposed in the introductory cutscene. In fact, Ubisoft had a website in 1997 when it, this game came out, which you can still find a look at using the archive.org, the web archive, and it exposed the story in 15 text logs and also using an encyclopedia which contained an insane number of items. So I want to make up for the fact that I riffed on this game uh, undeservedly. I just displayed my ignorance after all. So I want to um, Yes, I wouldn't, over the course of this let's play, I want to read to you these 15 text logs. If I can manage to do that, I will give you um, already now the short version of the story. We are not just some nameless contestant in a race um, to get the last ship, which gets us off, off from this planet. In fact, we have a name. We are Officer Derek. And we are basically forced to participate in, or we, we were forced to participate in this race. Um, so much I will um, say now. The rest of it will ex be exposed in the text logs. Also, it is not actually a virus that threatens this planet, but it, it is a fungus, which makes much more sense given the fact that in reality, even um, in the IS, the space station, the ISS, sorry. They, in fact, as I remember, um, having heard in some documentary, have had problems, in fact, with fungi, fungi eating away um, parts of the space station, the plastic material. Okay, so I will read to you these logs, um, but for now we shall get back to racing. Um, I, off screen I had to redo the last two races because the game only saves every four races. And in fact I have won both races so we now um, the point, the overall ranking has changed a bit from when we last left off and I do hope this is recording now because otherwise I will have to do this all again. So we can't save now, so that means that we just will continue and I will take a sip of my beer. Because drunk driving. Five, drunk driving is awesome. Three, two, one, <clears throat> At least in the fantasy. In the world of games. Maybe. Okay. Um, I've noticed... Blah, I have noticed that there are that the stages are in fact not just they're not always increasing in difficulty. Um, for instance, the, the the canyon level, the canyon track, where I almost almost won, and I'm not sure whether I'm going the, I'm going the right direction. Okay, that was a that part was a bit confusing there. Um, so this canyon part where I very much where I struggled. 
to win the race and didn't. And didn't. And. And didn't. Sorry. Um, that. That track was in fact much harder, even now the second time I've played it and then the track after that. Also I've noticed this strange, um, I don't know if it's, a, it's a, if it's a, damn it, if it's a bug or not, but um, in this level after the canyon level, so the level which we just, the track that we've just beaten, all the participants uh, seem to disappear after a while. So even if I'm ahead of them, I should eventually, if I manage to be faster than them consistently, I should eventually, uh, I should eventually um, catch up with them from behind, if you get my meaning. To get the meaning behind my improper way of using the English English language. There. This for example. The person that we just saw. Shit. Forget what I was trying to say. He is actually in front of us. So the person that I was struggling to get in front of was actually not the person leading but the person on the second place. Okay, but I think I still have a chance of yeah I might have a chance if I wouldn't do something stupid like that yeah also I've noticed one general strategy for racing games is try to make as few movements of <coughs> shit as few movements with the control stick as possible because when you make rapid movements, you tend to... The car tends to break out and then you try to counter that and then it just gets worse. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Or at least you would know what I'm talking about if I could... properly phrase my thought into an English sentence. Yeah, shit. Okay, we have still some shit. No, we don't have. We don't have shit, but we have still some laps to go. <sighs> okay. But I'm gotta say that I quite enjoy playing a racing game for chance, for change, not for chance, for change. A la nice little. Knife shit. N not a knife. Ah, shit. <sighs> a nice little deviation from the normal um, sort of pace of my let's plays. It's a different kind of game. It's a racing game after all. I like how it's very much um, straight shit. Great. Ha! Shit! 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 Not straight shit, but very straightforward shit. Straightforward shit. There you have it. Uh, and this is the last lap. I will lose this race. Fortunately, I made up for it by winning the other race. Off screen. I'm sprang to. Okay. No, don't. Previous menu, okay. Not so fast, can we save? We can't save. Okay, overall. S okay, we've, we've lost this one race, but in order to win this game, you only need to um, have an overall to lead overall. In the overall ranking, that took another sip of a beer. Let's check what my timer says. My timer says that we have, in fact, not enough time probably to do another race um, unless I go over time, which I don't want to. So instead of going, sorry, I'm 
hit the microphone there. Instead of going over time and doing another race, I will read out to you uh, now the first two logs, giving you the story behind this game. Okay, this is um, counting backwards from, I suppose, the start of this race. Okay, this is D-Day minus 15. Bulletin, addressed to all supervisors of the EU Police Department. Um, and by the way, EU actually... I actually forgot this. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think I have read that EU is actually not the Jupiter moon, but it's a proper planet. But, okay, I will look that up anyway. Okay, we are on Io. Again, bulletin addressed to all supervisors of the Io Police Department. The IMC, the um, Io Mining Corporation, the IMC has just alerted us of an accident in one of the mining shafts in Vaitland. As of right now, we are unable to precisely evaluate the fallout level and the possible consequences of this accident. As a precautionary measure, the following sectors are considered to be most dangerous and must be immediately cordoned off. The governorship of Vaitland, Gaia Canyon and the waste reprocessing plant in Sewer. That's a strange name for place. Okay. This is a level 3 operation and takes prior... The no. This is a level 3 operation and takes priority over all daily routines. You will be receiving your complete assignments within the hour. In the meantime, riot gear and gas masks may be picked up on level B2. Do not take this issue lightly. The majority of your force must be put, on, must be put to work on it. Exercise caution and deploy your men to their sectors in small groups so as not to alarm the, alarm the public. According to the preliminary evaluations, the mining accident occurred as a result of an unidentified form of pollution. Protective gear must be worn until the decontamination units have been concluded, have concluded that all excess pollution has been contained. Regards. And no signature. Okay. This was um, the log from D-Day minus 15. Now I read to you the, day from the, next, um, the log from the next day. And I'm already preparing in the background the next log. Okay, here. D-Day minus 15. Okay, this is awful. Written transcript from the radio show Rave On. Broadcast from a local and clandestine radio station. So, all you ravers on planet Io, didn't you just make your... Didn't that just make your blood race and your ears drop? Ooh, I like it. Before moving on to more jam and rave samplings, it's time to once again break the law. We just got a hold of the juiciest piece of news that I've heard in a long time. It's so damn cool that the state hasn't even dared tell anyone, because they are scared to cause problems for the mess measly little workers in the central administration. But because we're always ready to rave on, here's a good one for all you to party us. Crank the tunes and blast it for as long and loud as you want tonight. No cops will be coming to bust up your parties tonight, my friend. Let's just say they'll be a little preoccupied. It seems that the IMC's main triage station and mine chef Fortinet Plant 21 had a little boo-boo yesterday. Apparently someone who works there made a huge mistake that is starting to stink, and they are trying to sweep it under the rug. The cops have donned their right gear and are all running, are running all over the place like a bunch of huge toads. Well, I say, let them run. Meanwhile, the city is ours, so let's party. According to the authorities, nothing major has happened, but if you want my opinion, we're in for a real ride, my friends. So let's live it up. Okay, that was the end of this log. I hope you enjoyed my horrible voice acting there. And when we come back, folks, we will continue to play Planet of Death. And I will continue to read more of these awesome text logs to you. So until next time, folks, until then.